Welcome to Thursday Thoughtful Thoughts. This week, I want to talk to you for a few minutes about exercise. Now, when I say exercise, you may say to yourself, Pastor Doug, I do yoga. That's a workout. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Seriously, though, I want to just talk to you about this because I think it's a great resource that we can tap into to help us get through this COVID-19 season really well. The exercise has been proven to help with mental health. It reduces anxiety and depression. It decreases stress. It boosts your mood. It improves your sleep. It gives your brain a boost. It increases self-esteem and it increases self-confidence. And knowing all this, I think the question that we would normally all of us ask is, then why aren't we exercising? And why aren't we doing it more regularly? And if I'm being honest, I've been there. There was a time about five or six years ago where I was constantly lethargic, feeling anxious, not handling stress really well, and I went to see my doctor. My doctor is an old Irish guy, and he just looked at me and said, go join a gym. And so I did, because I didn't think I had any other choice. But I found in exercise so much reward and so much value, and really the answer to a lot of what had driven me to the doctor that day. But I think the key in engaging exercise is to think beyond the moment. Instead of just thinking about what you want in the moment, which if we're being honest, most of the time is not going to be exercise. If someone says to you or to me right now, which would you rather have, a box of Oreos or to go for a run? In the moment, I'm probably going to choose Oreos. But I think that what helps us is when we start to look beyond the moment and not just think about what we want, but think about what the results of that choice are going to be. You can crush a bag of chips or a box of Oreos, and you and I have both done that, so let's be honest about that. And we know when we've done that that we don't feel good after. You get to the other side of that, and then you're just like, and you just feel terrible. Instead, you could go for a run, and when you're done, you'll be like, wow, I feel so much better. Or if you're not into running, go do something else. But instead of just pursuing the feeling, pursuing an action, pursue the feeling after the action and think about what feeling that action is going to bring in your life. And I think this applies to more than just exercise for sure. But specifically, I want to talk to you about it with regards to exercise. There have been lots of days that Kyle and I have been heading down to Nose Hill on a Tuesday And we've actually talked at some times about, man, it would have been really easy to just stay at home, especially when the weather's bad, sometimes when it's snowing or lightly raining or cold or whatever. We talk about just how much easier it would have been to just stay in bed or stay in the house and not do that that day. But we both know that, A, we're going to find after a little while that runner's zone where you really start to enjoy running. And I know some people think that's not really a thing. But it is a thing. You just have to run long enough that you don't feel like you're dying while you're running. And then you start to get there. I promise. It's a real thing. But we also have talked about how the rest of the day we're going to feel so much better because we did that. The pain was in the moment of choice. And when we think about exercise and whether we're going to exercise net or not, I think we've got to look at it from the perspective of at some point there's going to be pain. It'll either be the pain of discipline right now to get up and to get my gear on or whatever I need to get on to exercise, or the pain of regret later when I'm sitting around later in the day and I go, oh, I should have done that because I would feel so much better if I had. And so I'm not saying you have to turn into a runner. Maybe that's not your thing, but I think that it could be if you try it. You only have to try it for a year and a half, and then you can tell me whether or not you're a runner. But maybe running's not your thing. Get out of the house. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Go for a bike ride. Pump some iron and lift some weights and just get into it. One exercise you can do anywhere is burpees. Now, there's a lot of discussion and confusion about what a burpee really is. So let me just say that in order to do a real burpee, according to me, you have to jump and your feet have to go off the ground. Optional, your hands can be above your ears. Then you have to go all the way down to the ground. Your chest has to hit the floor. Then push yourself back up jump back up, feet leave the floor again. That's one. You can bump, bust out 10 of those at a time, multiple times a day. Right now, pause this video, do 10 burpees, and you'll feel so much better. Okay, maybe not. But burpees are great, and you can do them anywhere. It doesn't require anything. And if you do 10 burpees four times a day, it'll just keep your metabolism up and f- keep you feeling good, especially after the first few days when you start to get used to it. No matter how well this Thursday is going for you, take a few minutes and get active, It'll only make your Thursday better. That's this week's Thoughtful Thought.